What's up guys, this is Mark from Top Little Cards and uh, I've done this before but I thought I'd do it again. Um, just checking out my eBay to see uh, some of the bids that I didn't win uh, throughout the week. So this is cards that I'm bidding on or packs. As you can see here, I, I bid on some breaks. Um, didn't win them, unfortunately the price was more than what I wanted to pay. So we're just gonna go through, check out some of them. So. Basketball breaks are here. Uh, Prism. I think this is a jumbo box. So $113 for the Lakers. I personally collect all Lakers because I live in LA. So, yeah. Some of these are breaks. Some are not too bad, but uh, yeah, I just try to pick them up for cheap. So, here's another one I was looking at. This is a Kobe collection. So this is the Kobe like exclusive cards that they select that they uh, released after he died. These are uh, all numbered, and uh, this one is um, PSA 10. So as you see, 2019 Panini. So this is a career highlight, and you see he has the Mamba. I think that's the Mamba Academy signature or logo eight and 24 uh, six hundred dollars so not bad but uh, unfortunately out of my price range uh, this one I was also looking at this is a 2014 penny prism uh, PSA 10 uh, this one I was trying to see if it was like gonna add it end at a, around a hundred dollars but it picked up steam towards the end 26 bids two hundred twelve dollars Lost that one. This one was surprising to me. This is a 2000 Tops gold label. Uh, Jam Artist PSA 10. I didn't think it was going to go for this much, but uh, already off the bat, like when I bid on it, I think it was already like at, with like seven days less, I think left, I think it was over $200. And then it just skyrocketed. So nice to see Kobe cards are still holding their worth. So these are some other Kobe PSA 10s I was betting on. A lot of them ended higher than I would like to pay. Like this one, 2019. I guess it's because it's a silver, but this is not. This is just really 123.50. That's surprising to me. Uh, this is what I typically see most of, like the the newer, uh, like after he stopped playing these cards this is like the price I'm used to seeing like $66 uh, these are really cool this one I'm trying to collect this is a court side so you can see like panoramic uh, has like all the players finishing at the rim $118 PSA 10 uh, I guess because of the pop 19 but yeah like I, I don't know if that's something I'll be worth willing to pay for that so another one um, 2019 prism 86 dollars uh, yeah nice to see that they're still holding their value but a little more than i would like to pay so this one uh brianna stewart so this is a cracked ice and a, i think it's a silver so 36 dollars. that was actually a good price i think last minute i lost it i think i bid up to like 32 dollars uh, here are some more cards. Randy Johnson, PSA 10. Thought it would be cool just if I could get it under $10. But as you can see, I mean, this is his, uh, I think this is his rookie card. I'm not too sure, actually. 89 tops. I think that's his rookie. So another one, 98 Bowman's Best, 95 Leaf. Uh, not bad. Good price, but more than I'm willing to pay. 2020 Prism. This is a Seattle Storm collection. So you got Sue Bird, you got Brianna Stewart in there. $44 actually was a good bid. Lost that one. Uh, I'm still trying to buy some Donruss uh, baseball so I could keep getting that Unleashed collection. Um, but unfortunately lost this one. Here's another one. Uh, 2020 Sue Bird. This is Cracked Ice. $29. That was a good price. Lost to that one. I think I bid like 25 or something yeah and here's another i wish i would have picked up some of these i think 
I, I think I just lost track of this one. But I, I'm willing to pay up to like $70 for these. So 57 is a good price. Just missed out on that one. Uh, let's look at some more. Another 2014. So 63. Good price. Uh, Bowman Chrome. 130, 134 for 3. PSA 9. Uh, good price, I guess. Uh, 2014 there's four all PSA 9 270 um, I think that one is a little overpriced and 2019 so this is a good price 40 bucks for these LeBron James this is the larger Funko Pop uh, 1126 pretty good and I think uh, shipping was only five dollars so sixteen dollars so that's cheaper than what you pay if you went to like uh, Walmart and bought it. Walmart's like $29 plus tax. Uh, this one I missed out on. This is a uh, Jerry West and uh, Will Chamberlain. Uh, 325 for two. Ungraded. Condition is probably not good, but for $3.25, not bad. 72 tops. Here's a couple of Jake De Jacob DeGroms. Uh, his cards, I think, are just going up, up, up because his numbers are so ridiculous right now. Aaron Donald. I'm surprised the uh, Aaron Donald PSA 10. These are pretty high. Uh, I know a lot of his like base cards, uh, not bad, but his PSA 10s are really high right now. Or I don't know, like maybe that's uh, historically they're high. This is a tri patch. Kobe, Duncan Garnett. Oh, this is a oh, yeah tri patch. Yeah, let me see. So you have uh, LeBron, Kobe, and uh, Rashid Wallace. That was, a, that was a good one. One eighty two. That's actually not too bad. Anything with like Kobe and LeBron. I don't know. I think later on, like it's gonna keep going up, up, up. 2016 select PSA 10 122 2013 so PSA 9 so you can see like even though these aren't the same cards uh, PSA 9 and PSA 10 there's like a huge jump so Dustin May this is a uh, inception uh, patch auto $42 I was trying to see if I could get this from for under under $40 I think last minute I got outbid. Another PSA 9, Kobe, 100 bucks. Uh, so I'm still looking out for Dustin May and I'm collecting Tony Gonsolin now. Oh, actually, I did before. I have like, uh, I bought like his paper, uh, like I think Bowman and Tops. I think the Tony Gonsolin, I think I have like 80 of those. So I'm collecting those. Some of these raw cards I missed out on twelve fifty, not bad. I would I would I would pay twelve fifty for that one. This one is crazy. This is Job Morant National Treasures. Uh, so I think this is only out of ten. If I'm not mistaken. Let's see what the picture says. Okay, so out of 90, 74 out of ninety nine. BGS 9, $27,000. But yeah, it's like weird. Everybody's saying the car market is down, but I mean, you still see like good deals or good uh, sales being made on eBay. Probably not overall, but there are still good sales. So here's a bunch of Kobe's. This one is a surprising to me. Like, uh, this is a uh, Upper Deck Exquisite. So 1508, like these are still going up. All the exquisite. Uh, I have a couple, a couple of them. Probably just gonna sit on them for a while. See what happens. Probably there. I hope they just keep going up, 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 up. Tyler Hero, uh, Panini, Orange Cracked Ice, dollar twenty-five. Bunch of rumors he's gonna get traded this season. We'll see. But if he gets traded, his card should go up. Uh, here's another Kobe patch. $26. Reserve not met though. 
So it looks like they want somewhere around 150. So I have like, um, I think I have like five or six Kobe patches or dual patch with somebody else. Uh, they should keep going up in price. Honestly, I think all the Kobe cards are just gonna keep going up steadily. LeBron PSA 10, uh, 41. This is like uh, one of those uh, insert cards, not the base, but just a nice card. I like Mosaic, uh, they have great color, and I think the finish is better than Prism. For some reason, like even though Prism is like the flagship, it seems like the surface of the card, oftentimes the Mosaic, I think, has better quality. So here's like, uh, I guess I was searching for LeBron. Here's a bunch of LeBrons. So PSA 10, PSA 10, PSA 10, 48, 46, 44. Kind of down from earlier in the year. Uh, PSA 10, LeBron, almost any base was around 60. So down to like 40 something. Still not bad. Anthony Davis. So 46 for a lot of three. PSA 10. This is a uh, revolution. More LeBron, more LeBron. Damian Lillard. This is a lot. So 21 card lot for 15 bucks. I think if you could get any, uh, any prism base for like 50 cents, I think he, it's a good deal. Uh, raw and ungraded. So we see of Dustin May, some more LeBrons. So nice to see that the LeBrons, the price are still holding. Probably a little bit down from early in the year, but still pretty good. So yeah, like if you if if I could get these for like 40, I would pick it up. I think that's probably what I did. When I bid on all these, I probably put 40 for all of them. We'll do one more page. Uh, so yeah, randomly I think I just look for Tua or Jalen Hurts or some other uh, quarterback. I I try to see if I could snag a RPA for like under 100 bucks. See like 120 through 50. The LeBron select 45. That's a good deal. That's a good price. I would pay that. Another uh, 49 card lot, 1450. I'm gonna cheat, uh, keep trying to get some of these Damian Lillard lots. I think his cards should go up later, especially if he gets traded uh, this year. I don't think he's gonna get traded, but I mean, as you can see, when people demand a trade, a lot of crazy stuff happens. You'll never know where somebody might end up. This one I was really interested in. I've never seen this one before. This is a snakeskin. Good looking card. I have to see if I can pick another one of these up. Prism Baseball, Tony Gonsolin, Snakeskin. That's pretty cool. And some more uh, RPA. This is a uh, Evan White, first baseman for the Mariners. He looks like he'll be a solid player. This one actually, I messed up. I should. I was trying to bid on this one. I think it ended at a weird time. I uh, yeah. See so like uh, noon. So I'm still working at that time. Usually I take lunch like 12:30 ish, something like that. So. This is probably right right around when I was working. I just missed it. Brandon I uh, Brandon Ingram, Pink Ice. Here's a uh, Tony Gonsolin. This one was surprising. So Topps Chrome, I guess because it's Topps Chrome, but thirty eight bucks. Like a lot of other Tony Gonsolin autographs, I can find for under ten dollars. So that one I let it go. Here's a Shaq uh, Orange Cracked Ice. I think if if you can buy these for like under five, I think these will go up in price later. Just my opinion. So here's another Damian Lillard uh, lot. This one was higher. I don't know why. Maybe there were better cards in here. Oh, okay. So there's a slam card in there. Uh, NBA Hoops Premium Stock Tribute T minus three two one. 
So there's some good cards in there. Uh, Prism all day. Not bad. Thirty-six dollars. See another Tony Gonson. I know it's a star rookies and stars, but dollar twenty-five. The shipping is probably worth the uh, is more expensive than the card. So there's some good deals out there, like this one, flawless, twenty-seven bucks. That one, I think that one's a good deal. So magic, four dollars. Another Tony Gonson select, five fifty for uh, auto. Ben Simmons cracked eyes. I checked the. Uh, I was look, trying to see after they lost terribly in the playoffs. To see if his cards took a dip and actually his cards are still pretty high i think people are expecting him to get traded and then he's gonna have some just the buzz around him maybe the cards will go up in price and then people are gonna flip them i'm not too sure but his cards seem uh, like a lot of his psa 10s and other uh like popular cards they're pretty up there in price and then i bought a couple jordan pools he looked really good in the playoffs. I think he's going to be a good shooter. Hopefully, he's going to have a bright future. Another uh, Tony Gonsolin auto, 225. So, like you, as you can see, like you can get a lot of Tony Gonsolin autos for like under five bucks. I think it's a, a good investment. I think he's going to be a solid pitcher. We'll see if he stays with the Dodgers, but uh, yeah, we'll see. And last one on this one is um, Steph Curry. This is like acetate. This is a clear shots i think so this is from uh, illusions these are pretty cool so pop two 76 dollars i think that's a pretty good price i think steph curry cards especially close to when he retires i think you're gonna see them shoot up and then i think he's gonna be very collectible after he retires so yeah i hope you guys like this video showing you some of the cards that i bid on but didn't win uh, I'm gonna try to do this every week to go with my mail time video to show you guys like Some of the cards that I was trying to buy but couldn't get them And I think it's pretty cool to see the final price. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel See you guys next time